All right, end of the night. Need to use one more charge and. <laughs> Sixty dollars for an elite four orb? What the hell? Who would buy that? Even the biggest whales got a thing. Gee, hmm. Uh, no. That's the worst deal I've ever seen in this game. I mean, you might just get a, a freaking like duplicate anyway, and then it's like, oh, you got like one sixth of a elite five orb. Okay. Hey. Anyway, like this uh, team here: Colossus, Invisible Woman, Drax, and Ultron. These three are all diversions, getting you away from killing these two. And uh, that seems pretty tough. Um, I mean, this is kind of the ideal team to use, I think, for defense right now. If you got the right red stars and gold stars on these characters. So, we'll see. Um, I'll, I, I do want to kind of slow this down here uh, just a little bit. I want to show Invisible Woman's first turn. Uh, a little better. I'm going to go ahead and throw the uh, Disrupt on Drax. Then Phoenix goes. My Phoenix will go. And then I want to show uh, Invisible Woman when she does go. Um, let's go ahead and try this. Drop the ability block on him. Ah, I didn't hit uh, Colossus. Oh well. Um, but I want to show Invisible Woman's first uh, move here and show how much she actually does. I think she goes next. There it is. Okay. So there it is. 17,000. I couldn't see that quite well enough. But I'll have to slow down the video later and check it out. Um, but I know one of the things is her barrier is actually capped based on the full health of the character you're targeting. Um, so it just depends. Ooh, ouch. All right. Let's uh, clear this Ultron. Or almost. <laughs> Uh, we'll save her ult, actually. Let's see if we can get rid of this Ultron first. Do offense stuff. And let's see. If I attack over here, I don't think Phoenix will take damage. So, that's good. It still gets the blinds out. And, uh, what's his face? Uh, Colossus is about to taunt. And there goes the Invisible Woman. Um, invisibility. <laughs> right there. So, you can see here, it just kind of jerks you around a little bit. Um... It's not a terribly difficult uh, team to attack. Oh, I had offense down from her. I forgot about that. Huh. Well, that is new. You do have to consider that. I have offense down on this Phoenix, but I'm just going to go for it and see if I can remove all those buffs. That's all I wanted to do. That is the thing about Phoenix is she is the perfect counter to Colossus, uh, who she's supposed to be protecting or who's supposed to be protecting her, kind of. So, Anyway, we're going to go for this Colossus and get him down. <coughs> and he's about to do that. And really, this is just a matter of, oh, can we kill them in time before the timer runs out? It's 240 left. Uh, not a whole lot of time, honestly. Um, and that's really it. It's like, is it going to just time out before you, know, you can do anything? Um, I'll go for Invisible Woman. Oh, no, I can't. i got to kill Phoenix next. Uh, an invisible woman might get her uh, barrier back here in a sec. The worst thing that could happen, really, is you get invisible woman's barrier on a dark phoenix, and then you can't get rid of her. So right now, I'm pretty sure she's one turn away from getting her attack again. Let's see if we can steal those buffs, and then let's kill invisible woman if we can. Here are those little shit minions. Let's slow her down. Let's keep going here. Uh... I'm going to save the ability block for Dark Phoenix. We've only got four buffs on him, so I'm going to go ahead and try to take out the Drax with that. Very nice. And then go after Invisible Woman here. Yeah, I might as well kill these little minions first anyways. Get my buffs back. Get rolling here. And there we go. Alright, then... Uh, just do the basic save the minions for after Phoenix goes down and we still got a minute 20 to go so I mean ooh, man that dark Phoenix it's so hard all right let's do that let's get another accelerator on the board because we're gonna have to slow her accelerators 
make this fight so much easier, honestly. All right, give me my Dark Phoenix. There we go. Yep. And... Uh, 20%, 200%. I think with the defense down, that does more damage, because the other one's solid 20% even with defense down. But that's it. Okay, so I beat them now. But you can see here, you got to be real careful, because the way that you lose this fight is if you kill the... the Phoenix too early and Dark Phoenix comes out and you get stuck bouncing around tanks and Invisible Woman and all those uh, stealths it's just, you could easily let the fight get out of hand if you're not careful um, so you gotta be careful with your AoE attacks so that you don't kill uh, Phoenix too early, uh, Juggernaut could easily, you know, do his ult and kill her, uh, Magneto's ult that can hit her, Magneto's basic can also chain and potentially hit her uh, you just gotta be real aware of what you're doing and how close you are to hitting uh, the wrong character. But otherwise, it's a fairly easy fight to control. Invincible Woman doesn't add really any attack uh, to a team like this. Uh, she's really just there as a deterrence. The barrier is definitely helpful because you saw I could not one-shot their Ultron on turn one. So I'm wondering if Invisible Woman may replace Drax overall. If you could do uh, Invisible Woman, uh, Colossus, and maybe... Uh, somebody else, I don't know. Something like that might work. Um, maybe Juggernaut, but... Hmm. I don't know. But you can see there, Drax is probably the least uh, important character in that group. And that makes it uh, a little bit more difficult to figure out like what the best defense is. Because they just don't work. Alright, we'll do some bonus orbs, because I just got my orb payouts for the uh, crazy blitz we just had. Where... Uh, People scored 20 million points in the freaking. Oh man, why did that be Korath? Couldn't have been Minerva? Could really use some Minerva shards. Uh, oh, wow, that's nice. Ooh, very nice. Okay. Um, but yeah, the uh, Red Star Blitz was insane. Like, people got like 20 million points in it. Oh, I already got that. Really close to another Elite Orb. I was hoping to get one for. Uh, What's her face? Oh, hey, I finally got him in the center, and it's not an eight. I've gotten two or three eight drops in the middle. Or two eights and a five. That's what I've gotten in center columns so far. And I've been doing 50 core refreshes every day. I mean, just horrible luck on my part. Oh, Carnage is nice. Not bad. All right, Ultimus Orb. Give me something good. No. All right, last one. Let's do an elite orb pool because I got one sitting around here from milestones. Let's see what we get. Give me something good. Oh, five urus. That's not bad. I'm just happy to get any uniques. Honestly, I got uh, five titanium alloys earlier. And that was pretty sweet. Saving up my money for the uh, Colson milestones that I assume are coming out pretty soon. And uh, yeah pretty cool so we'll see what happens there I'm, I'm really excited for Colson I'm gonna be working on Fantastic Four in the meantime while we're farming him uh, and hopefully saving up some tech gear for Colson specifically because he takes tech gear just like half the characters in my roster <laughs> or so it feels like so we'll see but yeah I don't think Invisible Woman really changes the arena meta. She's Unless somebody finds some crazy awesome synergy with her, I just don't see it happening right now. She starts with full energy on both abilities, so she's always going to go with her ult first. And uh, I really wish that there was a way to make her do her special first. I wish we could program arena defense modules and make it like scenario-based and all that and actually make some cool AI uh, based on what we want to program. That would make arena... A spectacular gaming format it would be so cool and uh, and then getting arena checks like every day like receipts for tax and stuff so you could see what people did kind of like Alliance War oh my god we need that so bad it would make that mode so awesome and so much fun to try out different stuff and program different things and you know let people be creative with it it would be so cool but I don't think that's anywhere near the horizon right now unfortunately so we're stuck with this, and uh, yeah, that's Arena for you. So, 